Look guys, today we're gonna go ahead and review, or I'm gonna go ahead and review this. This is uh, the boots that I got recently. This is what's the box look like. Yeah, it's from the undercover. This is my very first undercover shoes. Not thing like, not a uh, collab, how do I say, non collaboration. Not with Nike, not with other uh, brands, it's just like straight coming from the undercover. This is what bo box looks like. And there's a little size tag, size medium. They don't have a number on the cover. The numbering is for uh, UC1B4F01 2. And before I show you guys the extra shoes inside, there's a nice a cotton shoe bags with the undercover over here undercover reason cat undercover whatever uh the lettering or logo embroidered and yep this is nice looking or nice quality as i'll say a shoe bag and before that, so I have a tag over here, undercover, uh, medium. So I got this on the website called Bart Valtini. I think it's from Germany or some somewhere in the Europe. And they were on the sale and I grabbed it. And here is the shoes. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let me adjust the angle a little bit. Okay, here's the shoes. This is the undercover, whatever the thing, boots. They came out for SS 2020, I mean 22. Okay, so color is basic color. Uh, they came out with the basic and black color, but the whatever the my size uh for this boost i kind of want to grab the black one but they didn't have sale on it because it was already sold out my size my size was already sold out but i grabbed this instead i really really like it anyway i'll go ahead uh go on to the little details so this is the like a bike not biking i'm sorry hiking boots or hiking style boots and upper you can you have the uh i think it's like a leather smooth leather let me check the okay oh well, maybe not it says cow heat hide under press and polyester so i think this upper is the cow leather i don't know what kind of leather it is and this is polyester and here's a little rubber up here again there's an undercover jun takahashi on the tongue this is cow, uh, cow leather again and the tongue part the upper part here is a kind of mesh polyester up here uh, it's a rubber toe box bag. This is rubber. So here with the uh, this like square, just on the upper here is the leather and the polyester. The heel tab in the bag. This is what the midsole look like. And this also the midsole from the Vivram Vivram sole. Look at that. Uh, as you can see, I think this is going to be reflective laces. And inside, uh, if you can see, there's a undercover lettering inside. And insole is uh, kind of feel like some kind of regular insole that you can see from the sneakers. I really like this. Look at this. I'll let you guys have some oh shit time to help to get these shoes. 
Look at that, holy shit. So I've been starting downsizing my closet and my shoes collection. And for that, I have, you know, some extra or uh, extra money that I got from the selling stuff and found this. It was on the sale. I really want to grab the undercover the boots. Okay, this is perfect. There's a little padding, like a sponge with the nice mesh material inside. I tried it on for a few times. It feels comfy. And I can see a little bit of glue here, but who cares? It is nice. I mean, it's not like a like a high quality, high, high quality, but it's still okay. And somewhat gives me a military boots uh, vibe. I really like this logo too. It's all same colorway. A mm, little bit of different in like a tone, but not too much. And I don't know, but when I kind of not research, but when I I just like search some undercover boots that they they been uh, released. And I think this um, design, this square design was uh, they had it since uh, AFFA, which is the very first uh, brand that Jun Takashi did it with. Uh, Nigo or some some one of the uh, Suji, you know, the, the member like Fujiara, um, Nigo, um, neighborhood, something like that. When they had the, when they made the, the brand before those kind of undercover wave, uh, you know, they I think they I believe they um made a brand called AFFA. They were um making clothing and shoes and putting some uh, printing or little picture on the jacket like car marks or something like that shit and i saw one of the the their collection the shoes or boots something like that and they had the same exact uh, design so i think um this design coming from uh, that time um uh when I search other undercover boots, they've been using this for a long time. So I think that's where it's coming from. It is somewhat uh, kind of the ordinary color with the not ordinary design. I really like this. This midsole gives me a Balenciaga 5 and a triple S. Damn! Holy shit! Let me get the picture real quick. Okay, so uh, since this is my very first um, pair from the undercover, non collaboration, so I have nothing to explain. You know, just like I can just I only can say about the how the material uh, feels like. Or whatever but whatever the leather they use on upper is super smooth i thought it was like some kind of velvet or suede but i think it is not but you can feel some kind of little like short like very short hair feeling when you're rubbing it really like anyway and okay for the sizing i went to the under uh, the size m as you can see here and uh, i've been researching a lot of websites or the some um, collecting shops website whatever and then there's somebody said size m fits like you just eight someone said size medium m fits like uh, us 10 Somebody saying it's like US 9 and I didn't want to have like a big boot that looks like clown so I went to the medium I kind of risked it you know what if it's too small but I went to the medium size so they have medium, large, 
XL, extra large, a medium is the smallest one they have for their shoes size. And when I put it on, it just feels like US 9. So now I know how the their shoe size go. So I believe medium for sure, US 9, large, US 10, and extra large, US US 11 or something like, something like that. I'm glad that I got the right size for me. Sheesh. Anyway. Okay, I'll go ahead and get some try it on videos. And thank you for watching guys. And see you next time guys. Bye.